Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Consciousness Unleashed podcast with Bonnie Seratori. I'm your co-host, Cynthia. Bonnie Seratori is a master energy tracker, master energy healer, spiritual accelerator, and the founder of Spiritual Acceleration. You can find all her work at spiritualacceleration.com, including all episodes of Consciousness Unleashed podcast. Today is a, somewhat of a different episode than normal, I would say, because we're actually going to be talking about an upcoming program that Bonnie has. Today, we're going to be talking about Bonnie's new program called Beyond Foundations, and it's a very special program, and we're all going to be touching upon the different topics that Bonnie will be covering, and you'll be learning a little bit here today about what those topics are. Uh, for example, discarnance, past lives, how to clear the past lives. So Bonnie, how's it going? It's going. I'm really it's excited good. about Beyond Foundations partly because I haven't been teaching foundations for many years and the beyond foundations to me is the next step for people that have taken foundations, but also it's, a, it's something for anyone who has intuitive abilities on any level to really learn some really valuable uh, tools to bring into their own practice or into their own life. But it's definitely beyond foundations. So I'm really excited about it. We're going to talk more about that later, about how it's, it is definitely the next step, but if you haven't taken foundations or even awakened the shaman, you could still take it. And I'll talk about um, all of that, like why it would be actually beneficial to take it even before taking foundations, even if you have the, uh, if, even if you want to eventually take foundations. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of pieces here because I went through your first module already and you know i haven't taken awaken the shaman or foundations but i felt like i could do maybe half of the stuff that you were teaching in there you know i only took intuitive you as your program but mm -hmm. i felt like i learned a lot from it and yeah. we're going to get into details in there so uh, do you want to talk about the individual modules <laughs> so there are five modules total and beyond foundations and um so the first one is on discarnate so can you tell us about discarnates, Bonnie? Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, what, the thing about the Beyond Foundations that I personally feel is what makes it really extraordinary is you're going to be getting information and I'm going to be teaching and showing and demonstrating and walking through step by step when I'm doing an actual clearing and how I'm doing it, what I'm finding, what I'm looking for. So what's really happening is you're getting a deeper training, like in foundations, you get the basics. Like, you know, we talk about discarnates, you learn about discarnates, all of that, and then you practice. But with, with me, I walk you through step by step. So this is what the difference is. So foundation gives you lots of information. You take it all in, then you have to put it into practice. With me, you are putting everything into practice. So with uh, the discarnates, this is like, for me, this is one of the, if you can only do one thing, I would say discarnates, simply because everyone has discarnates inside of them. This is dead people, people who have passed away, people who have died, they're on the other side, they didn't go into the light for different reasons, and oftentimes they come into people's bodies based on the frequencies that you are holding. So whatever your wounding is, you're going to have discarnates attached into that wounding. You can have multiple, multiple, multiple types of wounding. You will have discarnates attached to all of that. So what happens when you have discarnates in your body is you feel them, but you don't know that's not you. You're thinking it's you. So you're having thoughts, emotions, reactions, beliefs. You're having all this energy inside of you when you're thinking it's you. And the moment a discarnate is taken out, that energy feeling, the and all the thing you were feeling is gone shocking okay so discarnates is uh affects our well-being it affects our thoughts it affects our behaviors it affects our lives profoundly so by getting discarnates out and learning about discarnates how to get them out where they're coming from why they're attached what they're doing all of that uh you know demonstrating discarnates you, in the program i use different people to do demonstrations on for different varieties of discarnates, different issues, different reasons. And we track it all the way, unraveling everything to the, to the point where that feeling, that energy, the discarnate is completely gone. And then what that person is experiencing after the discarnate has been removed. So discarnates are huge. They have, you know, they're just inside of everyone. Everyone's got them. 
people don't understand it. They don't know it. You know, sometimes discarnates come in in the womb, sometimes infancy. I've had discarnates literally take over people's lives, marry a person, raise the children, then take the discarnate out. And the person that the body belongs to, you know, they've missed out on a lifetime of their own life, <laughs> their children, their husband, all of that. I have thousands of stories around this. So the discarnate issue is huge, just huge. I do want to mention, Bonnie, that at this time of the recording, and when this video, this episode is going to be out in public initially, these teachings are going to be live with you. I want to make sure people know that. And the live portion of it is one time only. But of course, they will. There will be recordings replayed, and they could be those could be purchased at a later time. But you mm -hmm. won't get the benefits of. It, it will be the same price that you have to pay if you do if you go live or if mm -hmm. you buy them later. Mm -hmm. And the benefits of going live when Bonnie teaches it is you get to ask Bonnie your questions and you could actually be picked for the demo. So mm -hmm. I've seen the first module, which it was all has already been done. And I, I just want to make sure that the people know that the discarnate module has already been done with a group of people. And then there's four remaining modules that will be live ones. And so one of them is past lives. That's the one that's coming up soon. And we're going to talk more about past lives um, mm -hmm. later. I just want to go through what the remaining modules are. Um, the second one after that is interdimensional interferences. After that will be soul retrieval. That's a very popular one. And then dark force interference will be the last one. And so it will be every month will be a new, is it every month or every week? Every month, right? I can't remember. There'll be probably three to four sessions per topic. Right. Three, so three, three to four recordings per topic. Right. Um, and so each time you meet up with Bonnie, it, it's two hours, approximately two hours. And the first module with the scar is there's actually five separate days, Bonnie, it's for two hours. Right. So it's 10 it's, hours. It's huge. It's huge and, yes. Yeah. And it's really affordable considering if you took foundations, you would pay a lot more for the whole class than you would for Beyond Foundations, which is, I, I would say each module is equivalent in hours. I think that like one month in Foundations is about 10 hours or so, plus some other things like, pot. of course they do the pods where they trade. And mm -hmm. then there's also mentoring with David. You know, some of those that they're not really, um, there isn't really a format for that. People of course could always trade with other students, but we don't mm -hmm. really provide that format in Beyond Foundations. Foundations, right. you do, because it's a longer program and that it's just structured that way. But Beyond mm -hmm. Foundations, it's, it's with you specifically and it's about 10 hours. So it's equivalent amount of hours, I would. Is that right, Bonnie, pretty much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing. It's actually more hours of training simply because when you're in the program of Foundations, there's, there is at least an hour and a half where you are working and practicing what you're learning, okay? With me, you won't be practicing during our training. I, this is full-on demonstration, full-on unraveling, clearing, speaking, sharing, talking it out so that you are learning how I do what I do. And then you track with me, you start discovering how I'm finding what I'm finding. Why am I asking this question? What am I looking for? So it's a very in-depth training that will help you to become ex like an expert at, you know, tracking energy and unraveling energy. So that's the difference. Yeah, I do want to say too, because I've watched the first module of the Scarnets and the transformations that the people had were really incredible. And mm -hmm. you could just, it, yeah, some of them were, it. what was that, Bonnie? You're watching it. You're seeing, you're seeing people change right in front of your eyes, right there, drastically changed. Okay. Can't find certain thoughts, feelings. It's gone. Yeah. Another thing to note is the way that we edited the videos is when Bonnie's working with another person, you see them side by side. So when Bonnie's doing her work, you're actually seeing the participant. And so you could actually, you see their energy and see what she's doing and what, what's happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so for those who have that ability to like sense that, and you might need to see the person, it, it's, it, it's a great way to, um, see all the components that Bonnie's actually doing and, and um, understanding why she's doing what she's doing. 
And that's one thing I really like too, Bonnie, is you were like, you're talking step by step. You really mean it because I, I saw it and I know when you said step by step, it, it's for real. It's when something happens, she, Bonnie has a very specific like thing to do next. So if some people, you know, I've noticed that um, a lot of your students, they ask, well, if, if this were to happen, what do I do? If this were to happen, what do I do? And you go over all of that. You go over all right. those pieces. So people don't really have to try and figure that stuff out because you already right. have a systematic approach that is yeah. uh, already effective, very effective. And so that's something that um, I really wanted to get across about the program. Um, I even, you know, I wrote the copy for the landing page this time and I, I made sure that was really included in there because it's a very crucial part of what you do, the tracking mm -hmm. part. I mean, you have to know how to track. So Bonnie has That's... that step, very step-by-step -step approach to it that I thought really uh, just really made it stand out for anybody to kind of get. That's why when I, when you said anybody who has some sort of abilities to just sense things and have that to be able to see and sense things could mm -hmm. just take this on without even taking foundations and it's very right. um, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah that's i i really want to emphasize that because i feel like this is so powerful for people especially if they're they're maybe kind of new or curious they wanted to take foundations maybe they couldn't or maybe you know they're not sure take at least one of the modules for this and you'll know Mm -hmm. and, and you could you don't have to buy all the modules that's another thing you could buy mm -hmm. whichever one you like the most Mm -hmm. um, but we do have a special if people buy all the modules that are remaining you get the first module on the scarnets for free that's mm -hmm. not going to be offered later mm -hmm. once the whole thing is done live <laughs> we will not offer the that special but anyway like, <laughs> yeah. let's get into so you we already talked about module one the scarnets and how how impactful that was and you gave us valuable information about about how that affects people so the next one on past lives, could you talk us, to us about past lives, Bonnie? How, mm -hmm. how important is that? Yeah. So past lives dictate your reality in this lifetime, period. Okay. So in, in my journey of working with thousands and thousands of people, my whole life has been devoted to tracking to understand how things affect us. How do things really work? So here's what I know. In the past lives, we, we recreate the same scenarios repeatedly because we're trying to learn a lesson. We're trying to know ourselves in certain ways, okay? Clearly, we don't have higher teachings. Clearly, we're a victim. We think we're victims, and then we just continue to come in and reincarnate and do the same old same old repeatedly. So along with the ability to learn how to track the past lives, you're also learning how to unravel the damage, the frequencies, the wounding that keeps people recycling the same thing over and over to really clear that, heal that, be done with that so that that particular dance is done, okay? What that means is if you won't be reincarnating with the same wound, like for example, let's just say that you have an issue with abandonment, being abandoned, okay? People abandon you, okay? There's this always feeling like people are going to leave, you're going to be abandoned. There's all this really deep, deep, deep emotion. So working with past lives, you discover how to track the back the past lives. And then you also discover what you need to do to heal and clear those agreements that we made at a soul level. And then you learn how to unravel the wounding of that lifetime, but then you're brought back into the subconscious of the person right here, right now. And then you're going to learn how to clear out the subconscious and all the wounding, all the traumas, all the things that were got carried over from these past lives and unravel all that. So when they're done, you can no longer even find the emotion. You can't even find the thought. There's no feeling of abandonment. The issue is over, over, okay? For all eternity, dance done, soul dance done, that trauma is over. So the carryover from past life, every facet of your life is carried over. Nothing begins new in this lifetime. All that's happening now is you're gathering more evidence, more proof of why you're suffering, and, and then the proof that, oh, yeah, you'll always be in suffering. So all these beliefs, everything gets carried over. And when you discover how to unravel past lives, you're literally changing your future. You're changing the soul's trajectory of what's going to be happening. You're no longer going to be doing the recycle, recycle, all the karmic energy frequencies, the beliefs, all these energies are in your subconscious. 
you're going to learn how to unravel that. So everything that you live is coming from past lives, all your trauma, dramas, your tra crises, your, you know, uh, PTSD, it all began somewhere, you know, in your past. So you're going to learn how to track, unravel, clear, heal, and liberate people from their wounding that's coming from the past lives. It's friggin' huge, life-changing. It's awesome. So I feel like this one in particular is something that a lot of people really love because it has to do with, for example, our relationships with like family that, or any relationships that could be like really damaging and toxic and then karma, that karma piece. And so do you want to share like a, a client has like client story of anything that, that stands out to you, Bonnie, that it shows how if you were able to shift something like in a person's family past life, the karma, and then it, the whole, everything changed. Um, I mean, yeah. No. Well, I, have a lot of, I have massive stories. I just remembering one. You know what I mean? It's like there's thousands of stories, but um, let me just remember. I mean, I had some very profound ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, in particular, someone was having uh, like a judgment, uh, blaming somebody else for what they witnessed between the two, like the two partners, like a man, woman, and then the other, the, my client was a female and she had all these judgments and it, it really messed her up. It, it just kept her um, traumatized and troubled and she couldn't get past these, you know, the feelings inside. So these two people had died. Okay. They were one, there was actually a murder thing and her whole being was traumatized by that. So the unraveling of that was actually going back into the past where they had been together before. Okay. Clearly. So in the unraveling of that, so there was, there was energies, frequencies between them, some of the same kind of stuff. And so her, her body, her being, her psyche, her, you know, the carryover was still very traumatized. And so by unraveling the agreements and contracts and then clearing out the, the damage that was done and clearing out the emotional frequencies and the hurt and all of that in the past life, and then coming right here into this lifetime and then clearing out in her subconscious all the angst, all the, the energy, the anger, the hatred, the wanting to cause harm, the revenge, all those energies that she was feeling cleared that all out and her whole body relaxed. It changed. It, this was, it may not sound big, but for her, it was life changing because she could never let go of this angst and this horrible feeling she continued to live with every single day of her life. It was an angst in her being that she was aware of constantly. And now it was gone, completely gone. Her feelings toward these people was became neutral. There was a, more of an understanding and an acceptance and the realization that that's their soul dance, that's the agreements they had between them. And, and that for her, it was just liberated. So her whole, everything in her, was lifted, changed, lightened up, and she was free from that horrible experience that she lived with for many, many, many years. Nothing else touched it. Nothing made it go away. Nothing. That reminds me of actually the first module with the Skarnas. You worked with a few of the people who attended, and some of it had to do with like, for example, I won't name her, but one of the person you worked with had a mortal enemy and that was oh, like yeah. a past life thing. Mm -hmm. And that when you shifted that, that completely, it, it was like lifetimes of mm -hmm. these two uh, being enemies. That, and, and every time they would cross paths in lifetimes, it would be, you know, probably something traumatic happened. And even um, if they weren't in the same lifetime, that being was attacking in, in the astral. And so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that, you know, that's an example of some of the, you that part, wasn't just the scarnets that was also you were going into um, looking at past lives and such like that. So I just yeah, want people yeah, we to know were... that, that the scarnet module ha has some of those pieces as well that are very interesting. Go ahead, yeah. Bonnie. Mortal enemies was part of it. Enemies on the astral planes was part of it. Yeah. So anything to do with dead people, other time, space, dimension. Yeah, we covered. You also did module. a shadow being one. And yep. I didn't expect that because I didn't know. I thought they would be under instrumentals, but I guess they're discarnate in your they're definition. They're still discarnate. Yeah, yeah. That was interesting. That was awesome because, um, you know, I didn't expect that. I, I've had experiences with shadow beings before. I don't anymore. At least I don't think I do. Because, <laughs> yeah. um, and that was years ago that, you know, like I had encounters and I figured out how to 
get rid of them on my own. Do you want to talk, okay. Bonnie, about the next three modules? So there's intermittent dimensional interferences. That one's like ET stuff. Is that right? Yeah. So interdimensional has to do with galactic. It has to do with other time space. It has to do with aliens. It has to do with, you know, people living in different places, different uh, parts of the, the universes, galaxies, other time and space. And then also when we're dealing with people here that are from another place and they don't feel comfortable here, there's ways I help them to be able to work with someone to be able to make them feel more at home on planet Earth. Okay, and there's reasons why people are here. So we also learn about all the implant stuff and the devices, mechanisms, timers, activators, warehouses, factories, all that stuff that's coming from interdimensional and um, the kinds of lifetime people have in other time and space, uh, the different things people have done. But yeah, just think about things not of this world and think about what's out there when we know that there's many, many, many different species of aliens and different, different awarenesses, different consciousnesses. There's the good guys and the bad guys and the guys who work with us and help us. And there's the guys who, you know, begrudgingly will do it in trading and whatever. So uh, you meet, there's aliens that work with the military and there's aliens that work, you know, the grays and then, then the big headed ones. I mean, there's all kinds of aliens that you're going to learn about simply because People are affected by these aliens. And also, if you're from another planet, another time space, you know, being here is going to feel like you're in a foreign country and you don't belong. And that's another big angst that people have. They don't understand, but there's ways to help people. Okay. So we're learning how to extract stuff, clear stuff, heal stuff, change stuff, release stuff. But it's all about interdimensional. So massive, massive energy is happening interdimensionally. You know, you work, we work with the Pleiadians, the Syrians, the Arcturians. They all have high-level beings, and we actually work with those. People sometimes will utilize them, call them in to help with the healing or surgery or whatever we're doing. So there's, uh, you know, lots of different things that you're going to learn and experience. And uh, also, like I was saying, when I'm teaching, I'm going to, I talk out loud. I tell you what I'm doing. I tell you why I'm doing it. I tell you what's happening. So you start to expand and open in your own ability to have awareness and you're expanding into my energy frequency so that you are literally able to discover things that, you know, you wouldn't be able to discover without that kind of opening, that kind of expansion that happens. So the interdimensional is very, you know, huge in our life, in our worlds. A lot, I work with a lot of abductees. People who have had a lot of traumas from being abducted. So you're learning how to work with people that have a lot of trauma because of these interdimensional interactions. And also the, and you know, who's, who's, who can you trust and who can you not trust? Who do you really want to call in and who do you not want to call in? So, um, and also where are these people being harmed? Who's hurting them? There's a lot of that kind of thing happening. So, so much to learn. I mean, it's like you can't even give it the information because it's going to take hours and hours to give you all the information. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. Interdimensional interference. Yeah. So that module you're thinking will probably be like the four days, eight hours. It just depends. I mean, I, what I do is I just, I meet the energy. Okay. So I don't come in with a plan program. I never do. It doesn't work that way for me. So I can't. I don't even use an outline. I have to meet the energy. I have a topic. It's interdimensional. So I start tracking who's, we have, oh, here's a good demo here. This person here has, oh, yeah, they've been abducted. Or, oh, this person here has implants. Or this person here, oh, this is military stuff. Oh, there's interferences. There's, there's energy frequencies in the body that have to come out. So I just meet the energy, and then I find the perfect person to do a demo on whatever uh, topic we're working with, you know, issue that we're working with at that time. And so a great demo is always, always going to happen. Yeah. So I just want to emphasize that if you go live, you definitely have the opportunity to be a demo. There's no guarantees because like Bonnie said, she's yeah, going to pick the person who's the best example for yep. you to learn. But yep. you still could definitely get some uh, really powerful clinics. I know some of your students in the in the first module, some of them got to were demoed twice and they had big yeah, shifts both yeah. times. Only so because it was they happen. only because it was there was nobody else to give that kind of demo with that particular issue we were looking at. So yeah, some people got it twice. Yeah. All right. So the next module is soul retrieval. Please tell us about that, Bonnie. Oh, uh, the soul retrieval. Yeah. So think about this. 
you know, um, you've been everywhere, many, many places, many lifetimes. So different reasons why you can leave aspects of you behind. Sometimes you're taken, stolen pieces of you. Um, you get stuck in other people's energy field. You, you, parts of you, essence of you can be in other people's bodies. So um, we want all of us here. So we, what, what's happening with the soul retrieval is literally tracking the energy, finding out, you know, where, where are you? Where's your energy? Where are you lost? Where have you been taken? Where, you know, where have you been that you didn't want to leave? What's a crack up for me is sometimes I find you know, like you fell in love. And so you're leaving pieces of yourself with that person. Okay. So many, many scenarios, traumas, and also abuses when you've been abused, uh, any kind of atrocities, your energy can be taken by the person, the perpetrator, okay? pieces of you are taken, you know, violations, rapes, uh, beatings, uh, torturings, all these different experiences that we have, many ess essences of you can be gone. You know, so we can be in other dimension, time, space, out in all kinds of different areas in this in this dimension as well, underworld, upper world, middle world, all these places. Okay, so basically, we are finding these parts of you, doing what we need to do. Sometimes we make trades. Sometimes there's a battle. Sometimes you know something happens, and we deal with whatever's there and any kind of dark energies that you know that are trying to cause you harm. We want to clean that up. And bring you back whole, bring back all this energy essence, bring it back into your body so that you land here and all of you is here. And then you feel more stable, you feel more energized, you feel more alive, you feel more conscious, you feel more aware, more awake. There's just something very powerful to have your own energy in your body. So that too is a profound, huge, huge class, huge program. So the last one is dark force interferences, which is one of your more popular topics. Go ahead. Take it away, Bonnie. <laughs> the dark force. Yeah, that one. Okay. So here's the thing. If you're alive, you've enlisted the powers of darkness. I guarantee it. There's nobody that's, in the, that's ever been alive. No souls have not done that simply because it's part of the soul's evolution and discovery and learning about who we are. Okay. Experiences. Everything about experience. That's how we learn. So the moment you take a vow, an oath, a promise, allegiance, contract agreement, and you open those doors, powers of darkness basically own you on some level. Now, the degree in which you have done things will determine how much you are owned, okay? But what happens is, especially when you've really gone deep, really dark into the powers of darkness, using uh, voodoo, witchcraft, sorcery, wizardry, Satanism, uh, different types of um, energies that we utilize, and you're calling upon the powers of darkness, you're enlisting demons, you're enlisting all these dark energies, minions and servants of the powers of darkness and green literally to the, to the to Lucifer himself, Satan himself, and you've opened that up. Well, here's the thing. They don't just let you go, okay? <laughs> so people, have, their lives are tortured. They don't understand why. You know, I'm a, they're a good person. They're, you know, they do good things. They're, you know, loving, kind, generous, but their lives are just, there's illnesses and, you know, challenges and finances and no connections, no, you know, all of that. And then we start tracking in and we start learning how, oh, this is why. So what's happening with the dark forces is we have to find out what you did. Where, what did you do? And do all your victims, we got to get your victims, people you victimized. So it just goes on and on. It goes very deep, very profound in the depth at what happens with the powers of darkness. It's not some simple little, let's just clean it up. No, we're dealing with the blackness. We're dealing with evil. We are dealing with demons. We are dealing with you know, uh, an energy frequency that is so dark and so black that it's evil and, and it, it causes harm. And, and it just, you know, clearing that stuff out and freeing people up from the powers of darkness is vital. It's happening to so many people and it can be cleaned up. That's the good news is we can totally release someone. We can end that dance. We can end the takeover. We can end the suffering and the trauma and the horrors that a person's living because of their you know, connection to the powers of darkness. So a lot of people are very afraid of this particular piece. Other people are not, other people love it. They, you know, they're, you know, they get excited, they, it's a passion. And then they become really good, okay? If you're afraid, we don't take you there because that's dangerous, things will happen, guaranteed. So there's all kinds of different things with the powers of darkness. There's other time, space, dimension, there's other realities, there's all kinds of things that we will be teaching, I will be teaching and demonstrating 
very deeply, profoundly, so that anyone who really wants to deal and become, you know, a demon slayer or someone who can face the powers of darkness, you're going to learn how with this particular segment of the Beyond Foundations. It's huge, life changing. Yeah, and if you're going to learn how to deal with the dark forces, you're going to want to learn with Bonnie. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah. that's the summary of Beyond Foundations, all the modules. Once again, there's five modules. One has already been done, but there's four that you could actually enroll in for live. Of course, all of these will be available after uh, to be purchased via recordings. But if you want to get in on the live pieces to, lot, lot to, to be a part of the demos, to um, ask Bonnie your questions. And of course, you do get that discount if you buy them all. Uh, the, all of the four that are coming up, you will get the first module on the Scarness for free. Links for this is in the description below. Also, the, we did videos on all the topics that Bonnie talked about. If you want to learn more about those, I'll leave links to those videos so you can learn a little bit more about why the dark forces and the discarnates and the ET implants are an issue. And um, so you can learn a lot more about what you're going to be getting in this program. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Like the video, subscribe, comment below, leave us a review. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bonnie. Bye. Yeah. Alrighty. Hope to see you at Beyond Foundations. Life-changing.